Look, it's another cat. What is up guys, Dane again. As I mentioned before, I do have a lot of cats. I actually have seven cats. <sighs> I wonder if I'm gonna grow up to be a crazy old cat man. I, I know there's always a cat lady, but I think I'm gonna be the first cat man, I swear. All right guys, now on today's video, I'm gonna be doing kind of a frequently asked questions slash, you know, Facebook business manager hacks video. Now, one of my most popular videos is just a really simple and easy to follow how to set up the Facebook business manager and an ad account. And I am so absolutely appreciative of how many people have trusted in my teachings and absolutely love them. Uh, with that being said, actually down below in the description, I do have a link to sign up for my digital class on how to do Facebook ads. So if you actually found me because of that Facebook business manager class, I have an entire class set up and taught just like that. I'm going to be covering everything from, say, doing local ads all the way up to e-commerce ads, especially those pesky catalog and retargeting ads. So if you found my teaching style just the best way for you to learn, that's fantastic. And, and I really would appreciate if you consider signing up on the waitlist for that. Now, let's go ahead and jump into today's lesson. Now, this is a different kitten. This one has a purple collar. The other one had a teal collar. And you're so cute. Now, question number one that I get a lot in the comments of my first original video is what happens if you only have, say, one or maybe only two ad accounts? Well, let me go ahead and explain. Facebook is super big on fighting abuse. If you remember the 2016 elections, well, then you probably have your answer. Yes, my cats are playing around right now in a box. Fantastic. Box of cats. But ever since then, Facebook has become very, very strict. With that being said, if you only have one ad account, my advice is to kind of stick with it and run ads. I know when I started about a year ago, I only had up to three ad accounts, and now I have up to about nine. However, if you really need more ad accounts, say for example, you're a marketing agency that's pretty well established, go ahead and contact Facebook and explain that, hey, I'm an established business. I, you know, I have a bunch of clients and I have a bunch of ads that need to get run, and of course I'm not just gonna use one ad account for everything. One way to kind of get around this though, Every person on Facebook, as soon as you sign up for a business manager account, you actually do have a personal Facebook ad account. So you could always make one ad account and use your personal one to at least have two. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a small trick that I do when either I can't add a new ad account or if I want a little bit of separation, if that makes sense. But to kind of answer that question, with time, you will be able to get more Facebook ad accounts. It's just, you know, building trust between you and Facebook. Another question I like to answer is, do you need a personal Facebook account to start a business account? And the answer is yes. That is the, having a personal Facebook account is your way to log into Business Manager. There's no way you can just create the account without having a Facebook profile. I know that's a little bit troublesome, but back to what I said about the other part, is that Facebook is getting super strict about fighting Facebook ad abuse. They just don't want to have someone come in, make a bunch of ad accounts, and start running ads for fake news. I might put a little thing about Donald Trump saying, fake news, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to be that goofy yet. So, I mean, yeah, it's not cool having a Facebook ad account. One thing I will advise though, and I was actually running into this problem with a, uh, a personal client of mine, whenever he would make a Facebook account, he would then try and make a business page and then business manager, and Facebook would immediately disable his Facebook account. So my advice is if you are jumping into this, create a Facebook account and don't try and do everything all in one day. Rome wasn't built in a day, so neither should your entire marketing arm be built in a day either. The last thing you want to do is have to keep on over and over and over creating Facebook account, Facebook account after Facebook account. It's way too frustrating. Another question I do get pretty frequently is how do you add people to certain ad accounts and business accounts? And with that one, I'm going to go ahead and just simply jump to my computer and I'm going to show you how you can easily add other people and invite them to, invite them to Facebook ad accounts and business accounts for them to manage. And of course there you can set, you know, if they're going to be at admin or at a lower, I guess, uh, level, if that makes sense. So with that one, we're going to go ahead and jump to my computer and I'll show you how to really easily do that. Now, another thing I do recommend is make sure whoever you're adding, they do at least log into Business Manager themselves. That allows them to at least get their own ad account and, you know, it just kind of gets them into the system. It just makes it so much more smoother. All right, guys, let me go ahead and show you how you would add, say, other people to other ad accounts. First thing you want to do is go right over here to Business Settings. Now, there's a couple of working parts in here that I'm going to show you guys. 
First thing you want to do is you want to make sure you add people. Uh, for example, here's my girlfriend and here is myself. Now, say if you have any other employees or you are bringing on some outside help, you would start right here. You'll click add and you would add in their email address. And as you can tell, you can choose between employee access or admin access. What will happen then is that they will actually get an email from Facebook asking them to set up their own business manager and being brought in. So once they're brought to your business manager, you have to assign them which page and which ad account you're going to be on. And of course you go right here. What you do is you actually select which page. For example, this one, you go down to people and as you can see, it's only me. But then you just simply add people just like that. And of course, when it comes to ad accounts, you want to jump in on here too. Same as before, you click uh, on the ad account, you click on people, and you just put them right on. As you can tell right from here, you can decide if you want them to be an admin, an advertiser, or an analyst. So it kind of gives you a little bit more control just so you don't give everything away. All right guys, now it's probably the moment most of you have been waiting for. How can you get around only having one Facebook ad account? So I do this pretty frequently now. In the beginning I did it so much, but now I do, and it's because it kind of preserves my own personal ad accounts. Say if I get a new client and they have a Facebook page already, you know, say it's say it's John's Mattress Store. Of course, another mattress store. Uh, I'm going to have to make a whole video about how not to run a mattress store. That would be, be a fantastic video, I think. But say there's John's Mattress Store and John has a Facebook profile. What I do, instead of just pulling his page into my business manager, is that I will actually set up his own entire business manager. So it'll be John's Mattress Store, the business manager page. Then I'll pull in his own page, or at least claim it as the business page to operate from. And then on his business manager, I'll create the ad account. Then I take myself, I add myself as admin on both the ad account and also onto the page. What that allows me to do is that I can just really easily switch between, say, my business manager and his. I'm going to show a quick little you know, blip of how that would happen. It's super noticeable once you notice it. But that's a super easy way to get around only having one ad account because then you can just jump right into it. And the best part is, say you decide to part ways with this client, well, you just simply take yourself off of their business manager and they are their own problem. That's another reason why I actually kind of like doing this when I have social media marketing clients. You know, in the beginning I would use one of my own ad accounts. Well, you know, I'd use that account and if we decide to part ways, now I have all their old data on one of my ad accounts and I have to take the extra time to go ahead and clean it off. And of course then, you know, there's the whole thing of like, oh, I want my Facebook audiences or my pixel data shared to a new one. And in a new video, I will show you how to share what, they, what Facebook calls assets, such as audiences and pixel data. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one thing a lot of people ask me is how can they get more ad accounts? As you can see, I actually have a pretty good amount, so I'm sitting pretty happy. However, one thing I realized is that sometimes I don't want to own an ad account and give it to someone. I want to actually set it up for themselves. So, for example, let me click right up here. As you can see, I have a couple of different um, business managers that I'm a part of. You know back here how we showed you to add people to a business manager into an ad account? Well, consider this. You can actually go to your client and set up their own business manager account. Then, taking your email, for example, in people, and then adding yourself to their business manager, and of course, adding yourself access to their ad account. For example, say if it was this one, I would, in their business manager, add myself as an admin, because you can do that. Then once I'm added in, assign myself to pages and to accounts that I need to use. And that's a really easy way to get yourself a couple more ad accounts. You know, to change over those, you just click right up here, and you're all good to go. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this answers a lot of questions. Um, I definitely think now when I might just actually post this as a reply to a lot of people's questions on my original video, just because I want to make sure that everyone can kind of get it uh, the first time around. So if you like this content, comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure to join my Facebook group. And if you like my teaching style, first, I'm going to have the link in the first comment to join my waitlist for my Facebook class. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Make sure to drink a lot of water and hydrate. Kabucha is good too. And my kittens are running all over the place. So I will catch you guys next time.